All right, so we have here is a double A, two double A battery case um, with some uh, wires coming out of it, both uh, negative and positive. I have an alligator clip that's connecting to both those wires and connecting to the tester um, units for the multimeter. I have the multimeter set at 10 and you can see that right now it's at zero. There's no electricity uh, going through the multimeter. I have uh, the red clip is connected to a piece of conductive fabric that I got from Adafruit. You can get it online just about any uh, store. I even saw some on Amazon. And I cut it out so it had a little bit of a notch on the side here. And then in the sandwich below that is a cutout of VeloSat. It feels like a plasticky, rubbery, maybe almost, it's not stretchy, but it almost feels like it could be a piece of, it's basically resistance between the two conductive fabrics. And you sandwich that in, and then you have a duplicate uh, conductive fabric on the other end. And I connect, connect that conductive fabric to an alligator clip that then goes and wires back into my multimeter from the other side. So if I wanted to complete the circuit, you see that I got four, about uh, get a, maybe 3.7 when I have them touch. And then when I have them, oh my gosh, it started smoking. And then when I have them removed, when I took them apart, uh, it is back down to zero. Now what the Velostat does is it creates that le level of resistance between the two fabrics. And I put it on just like that so that none of the conductive fabric is being touched. I have a little piece of white paper beneath it just to make it easier to see, but it's not necessary. Mostly you want to keep other, you know, potentially conductive materials from touching it. And then I take the other conductive fabric and I put it on top, making sure that the two conductive fabrics aren't touching. As you can see, when they do touch, it just has a ton of energy going through it and it starts smoking a bit. And the reason why this is pressure sensitive is because that Velostat makes sure that um, not full, the full conductivity of the two conductive fabrics isn't in play. So what I'm going to do here, let me move the multimeter a little closer, is I'm going to press down on the fabric and you can see that it's going to jump up to 7.07 .07. and actually when I put a piece of paper on top of that, because I think uh, my fingers have something to do with the conductivity, um, when I do that, maybe not, yeah so it gets a little bit higher to 10. What's hard to see though is that um, I am pushing really hard. So let me push really hard. So I'm pushing hard, hard, hard. And it's going up to 19, 20. I'm putting four fingers down now. 20, and I'm putting five fingers down. So I'm pushing really hard. I'm going to take one finger off at a time. And you can see that as I take my fingers off, the conduct, the, the amount of electricity that goes through goes back to zero when all my fingers are off. Also, it's pressure sensitive for one finger. So I'm going to touch lightly. There you go, two. I'm going to touch a little harder. I'm going to touch even harder. There you go. It's pretty neat, huh?